Thank you for calling Applebee's. May I take your order? Hey guys, welcome back to <laughs> welcome back to by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again, taking a look at how to um create an image from well, how to create a vector from an image rather backwards. I was gonna say that. Um, so yeah, we're in we're in Inkscape today, and I'm gonna go go ahead and take an image, and we're gonna turn it into a vector so that it's like you know it's not raster graphics, so you can blow it up to any scale. Um, and it looks nice. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to go ahead and open up an image here. I actually didn't open up the image because I'm I'm dummy. So we're gonna unfull screen this, and we're gonna go ahead and open it up here. I'm gonna drag it in from my other monitor. Um, and it's this image right here. <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and open that, open that up. Just hit OK on that. There you go. You can see this is the image here. Really nice image. Um, we're gonna go ahead and actually right click this and go to lock selected objects so that way we can't really move it we can't move it around we can't accidentally grab it or, uh, or anything like that because i don't want to mess it up so um the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and go up to the layers tab if we don't have that open on the right hand side we can go up go to um Where's it at? I think it's view. I can never remember where the do the dockable dialogue uh, section is. It's up here. Um, we can go to this area. We have all these different things. We have objects and this and that and everything else um, because they're all like split up. You know what I mean? So we can go to objects. I believe it's somewhere around here. It's layers. Okay, nice. <clears throat> yep, we're just gonna pretend I didn't do that. Um, we're going to go to layers. Um, we can see you can rename this, uh, but we don't have anything really on this layer yet, other than the uh, obviously the, the 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 floral pattern. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm um, drop down the opacity so we can see through it a little bit. See through it a little bit, and we're gonna go ahead and right click this um, and just uh, so du double click, and we'll just type floral. Oh, that's not how you spell floral at all. Floral. <laughs> there you go. We can lock that layer now. It's the same thing as in right click and locking this, but instead it just locks the entire layer. That's nice. Let's go ahead and add a new layer by hitting this little plus button. <clears throat> we'll call this um, Floral 2. Nice, the sequel. Um, we'll go and grab a tool now, which is going to be the Bezier Curves tool, and we can start creating the, uh, the, the pieces that we need to redo this, this image as a vector. So... Um, obviously this image is cut off. It does loop. The image does loop. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to go and we're going to try and use our imagination a little bit to try and, um, make it so that this image will continue. Now we're probably not going to do this entire image because there's a lot of things going on here. But as you can see, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of just have a nice little starting point, starting point. We're just going to go from there to there. <clears throat> and we can just uh, hit enter to get rid of the, uh, the curve in, in, cause we don't want to uh have that be rounded so we'll just we'll create that line then we'll come in we'll do this one hit enter come through and of course if you click on that edge it will go back so we can just super easily kind of just come around and um kind of trace as it were uh these uh, these edges as you can tell that one is a little not rounded enough for me so we'll go ahead and undo that um, but yeah, as you can see it's just super easy just to get in and do these lines here um, and then just hit enter whenever you need to uh, get rid of that uh, edge because it's too rounded. Uh, for instance, right here, if I were to go ahead and do something like this, that's easy because uh, it's a nice rounded edge there. <clears throat> but for this one, as you can see, I don't want it to be super sharp there, so we'll go ahead and make sure that this is a little bit more round like that. Just click and drag and it'll just become more round. Um, we'll just do like this and go all the way around and we'll finish up this specific leaf. Um, sometime up here, I want to take my time and make it look nice, you know, so this area I want to look a little bit more loose, coming around the other side now, it's hard to tell what leaf is what leaf sometimes, but I think we're doing alright, there we go, that piece comes up like that, oop, messed that one up, piece comes up like that, just control Z if you mess up, of course, control Z, always your best friend, um, we're gonna move down here, make that, maybe I'll make that leaf a little sharper, a little more round, rather. <clears throat> there we go. Nice. Okay, cool. So we'll come around this way. And we'll do this one all on camera, I think. I won't cut here. We'll just um, kind of finish this one off. Yeah, these leaves that are behind here are messing me up. I can't tell uh, which one is which. So just try and, try and uh, separate the uh, different, different foregrounds and backgrounds for whatever image you're trying to uh, vectorize, as it were. I'm going to just create this entire thing as one big whole leaf here. And just pretend... And it just goes like this. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So now we can go to the uh, select tool here, the mouse tool, the default one. 
And you can see we have this whole leaf here, which is nice. I want to go ahead and um, <clears throat> because the style that I want to do isn't exactly like a uh, super high realistic version of the vector. I really like flat graphics. You guys know this. And of course, when we do vectors, I really enjoy that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a solid color. Then we're going to create this little line down the middle that we see here. Maybe break a couple of these holes like that. But, uh, but probably not. We'll probably just leave it just with the line. Let's go ahead and select it. And we'll go, we'll scroll on down, make sure the LPC is all the way up, don't want to do that by accident. Um, we'll scroll all the way down so we get the fill and stroke. If you don't have that, you can hit Shift, Control, F, or you can go up to, uh, where is it at? Here we go again. Um, <laughs> object fill and stroke right there. Um, and now I'm going to go to Stroke Paint and turn that off so we don't have the little outline. And go to Fill, turn that on, and you can see, boom, we have that nice looking thing. Uh, popping up there now. I want to change the color to a nice green, so we'll make it green, brighten it, saturate it, and put it back to the green there. Um, needs to be more a little, bit, a little bit more blue green, so we'll desaturate it, darken it, desaturate it, darken it, something like that. Looks pretty cool. You love to see it. Um, now, nice. And then we'll do that same exact process for all of the other plants, um, and just make it look really, really cool. So what I want to do here now is before we move on, I, I do want to do this little line that we see underneath there. So I'm actually gonna go ahead. Go ahead Gonna go, gonna go ahead and uh, right click this, and I believe there is a hide selected objects. There we go. Um, now we're going to make sure that you know, obviously, we have uh, the ability to unhide that by just hitting Control uh, Z. But I believe there is a way to go ahead and hit unhide everything. But I honestly forget what the hot key is. So let's go ahead and oh, show hide. There we go. Um, oh no, that's for that's for that's for objects. Okay, let's actually go ahead and not hide that because I don't remember what the button is to unhide that if I'm honest with you I have to look it up I believe that it used to be like shift H or something or control H but I can't remember um so we'll go ahead and just we won't do that so that I, I know how to uh get it back we'll just go ahead and actually move it it's fine it's just right there we move back um now I want to go ahead and grab this this line that we have here we'll, we'll use the bezier curves tool and once again we'll just uh click 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 and drag and create a little uh line there and then hit uh enter and then we'll do another one so all the way up uh here click there and then we'll click there that'll create a whole loop obviously and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab this tool right here and we'll just move this center piece so it's a little bit more the shape that i want it to be which is this shape right here um, there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the select tool once again, select this bad boy, go to fill and stroke, change the stroke paint to nothing, change the fill to that. We'll brighten it a little bit, saturate it a little bit, and make it a little bit uh, more blue. And pull this back down on top of there. There we go. Line it back on up. There you go. Love to see it. All right, that's that's uh, that looks nice. I think I want to move uh, some of this stuff over. So we'll actually go ahead and actually move. we we'll delete on that piece over there, and then we'll move this over. And then I'll move this over, hold down shift so we can get a nice little um, thing going there. It's actually not exactly the angle that I want to get this at. So I might delete this one as well. Yeah, we'll delete that. Just hit delete on it. Just click and drag a box over it and hit delete. Um, and we'll move that like this and that like that. Um, I don't like this piece being sharp. So we're going to go ahead and fix that by deleting that and then double clicking um, on the loop. And then just creating another little line there. That looks much better in my opinion. Um, there we go. And that looks good. I like that a lot. It looks really cool. So, um, I think that's it for that one leaf. Now we go ahead and, of course, do other ones. I will do one that is the pink leaf. So we'll do this one over here just so you guys get an idea. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do something like this. So let's go ahead and uh, just uh, grab all these. I do want to get this little nick in there because it then looks really cool. Um, just kind of trying to get all the little micro details because that's really what really makes vector art look really cool, if I'm honest. All the little things that you don't. Uh, notice until you kind of zoom into it because you have the option to zoom into it because it's vector art um so yeah we'll kind of just do like that and i want to maybe kind of round this off like that maybe and we'll create like a little indent and in, like the other ones had right here as well just to keep like uh some kind of uh uniformity a little dent in there you love to see it pull it up and there nice cool um, I think I want this piece to not be like that, though. There we go. Just delete that. All right. Let's go ahead and grab the stroke paint. Put it on X. Fill. Fill it in. And then we'll grab a nice pink color that matches. Um, obviously, put a little bit of red in there as well. 
so that it's a little more salmon. There you go. Oh my god, that's pretty. All right, we're going to go ahead and just uh, do the same thing with this one, move it up to the side, and then we'll create that little line that we have in the center, which looks really cool. Um, but I want this one to go... I oh, know I don't. I want to go the same exact way, so we'll just do it like this, create that line, curve it a little bit, um, and then hit enter, click there, click there, hit enter, grab this little tool right there, move this one over so it's a little slit there you go you love to see it and then we'll just go ahead and fill in stroke uh stroke paint sorry get rid of that fill fill it in and we don't need this piece right here there we go nice uh i kind of messed up there a little bit let's pull this one in um oh i see what happened there okay it didn't connect that's weird okay let's do that again so we'll pull this in uh, we'll curve it there there oh, i messed that up that's not how it's supposed to be we're supposed to do two different the two different instances of it. It messed up. That's weird. So we hit enter once again. Uh, connect it there. Connect it there. And then we should be able to move them together, you know? There we go. I don't know why I messed up the first time. That was strange. All right, there we go. Um, there we go. Pull that piece there. That piece there. And we can move this flower back. We also, of course, have to make it a brighter color. Um, maybe add a little bit more uh, red to it, saturate it a bit more, and there we go. There you have it. But yeah, that looks really cool, and I think actually the end of this one is not what I want to do. I want to make something else here. Let's actually get rid of that, and we'll kind of pull that down like that. Yeah, and we'll create like some kind of stem a little bit so we'll do like that um and then i'll connect it up there we go wait i wrong tool click there click there pull it in pull it up hit enter move this one over that's too angled there we go and then we'll connect them together like that hit enter and then move this up that is a separate object, and so is this one because they're not connecting, which is super weird. There we go. There we go. That's what you love to see. Yeah, it's really weird how they're not connecting sometimes. That's strange. If that, if that happens to you, obviously just do what I did. Just undo it and then just do it again. Unfortunately, that is uh, acting weird for some reason, but uh, that is a super easy fix there. Just do it again. Um, all right, pull that in like that. Um, this will be the little stem that we have that might be a little big, so we might scale it down actually a little bit. Um, and then we'll do a stroke paint, zero, fill, all, all the way, and then I'll just eye drop that color, and we'll use that as the stem. So that looks really cool. Um, I might want to flip it so that it's the other way around. If we can, we'll do that instead, and then we'll flip it like, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. Why am I? We have to rotate it. There we go. That's what I was thinking of. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. We'll do that. All right, nice. We can do the same thing with this one up here. Actually, if you wanted to, make a nice little stem. I might just copy and paste this stem and just move it around a little bit. So we'll right-click that, copy, move over here, hit paste, make it bigger, control V uh, if you want to use shortcuts. And we'll do that. We'll make the, the other end. There we go. We'll rotate it a little bit um rotated it more actually and then of course it can't be this color so we'll just eye drop the lighter green color that we had earlier and there we go that is our um stem i might want to move this over so it's not exactly the same as the other one so we'll move that um like that maybe move this in move this out so it's not the same you know what i mean you feel me um there we go very cool stuff very cool stuff but as, I, as i said you can do this with all the um the pieces of your image, of course, that's going to be a lot of stuff to do for this specific image. But you can get the idea. And if you don't want to do that, of course, you can just uh, drag a box over all top of that. Control C, Control V, move it around. And we can just kind of, you know, get some other leaves in here. If you don't want to fully redo the entire image uh, for whatever you're using. If you click once, click twice, you can go back between scale and uh, rotate, by the way. Up here, you can use the flip tool. But, um, but yeah, so that's basically, uh, that's basically how you do that. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Um, but until then, bye-bye.